The Mendian Honey Eye Falls Lima Sentinel welcomes you to this edition of the Mayor's and Supervisor's Weekly Update, brought to you by... Each week, our community makes history. Each week, you make history. And each week, there's only one source to turn to for the first take on history. You know what that is? Subscribe to the Sentinel right now to discover the history being made in your own backyard. The Mendian Honey Eye Falls Lima Sentinel. More than just your news, it's your history. Hey, welcome everyone to this week's edition of the Mayors and Supervisors Update. I'm Chris Carosa, president, no, publisher of the Men in Honey Eye Falls Lima Sentinel. And we're going to be talking to our mayors and supervisors as we always do, only supervisors this week. The mayors are at the annual mayors conference, but we'll get a report from them. We'll put in the paper next week. Let's start with what's going on in the town of Lima. Mike, how are we doing there? Doing great, Chris. I'm out here at the world headquarters of Bears Playgrounds. I, they've got all kinds of uh, stuff in the showroom here right on 5 and 20. Just a reminder to everybody, if you do have kids and you're looking for someplace a little bit different to go, you can bring them here anytime and have them try out all this playground equipment that is made right here in Lima. Um, so uh, some good news uh, on the Livingston County front. Uh, we've got a, uh, for a long time, we've been part of the casino compact here in Livingston County. You'll never see a casino here in Livingston because we signed an agreement a long time ago that we would not compete with the, uh, the Indian nation uh, out west of us. So uh, they got into Lockhorns with Governor Cuomo a long time ago, and we have not been receiving the uh, payments that are part of the agreement. Uh, we just got our check for $1.5 million because they finally settled. And now the annual payments will start up again. So that, that's taken a, a long, long time. Uh, the uh, governor's budget uh, has eliminated the sales tax grabs from the counties. So the uh, aid and incentives to municipalities money is now going to be coming from the state level, not taken out of the county sales tax. Uh, same thing with the uh, hospital aid uh, that has been stopped. So you'll see all of the county's sales tax go up. Uh, for Livingston, uh, it was 4.7 million, I think, that they were losing. The annual German festival is gonna be here in Lima, second Sunday in June, out on Pond Road. 11 to 7, mark your calendars. Uh, after a two year hiatus, that should be a pretty good one. Lima Town cleanup days are going to be on May 6th and 7th. Uh, you need a permit, uh, town residents, that includes the village. You can go over to the town hall, get a permit from the clerk so you can bring your items. We do have electronics collection as part of that. Uh, you can bring up to two TVs and any of the other loose stuff that you've got. Uh, to get rid of them so they're not hanging around your house. Uh, and lastly, uh, another meeting yesterday with the Livco Walls team. Uh, this is this giant mural festival that Livingston County is doing, and Lima is the first one that's going to be completed and dedicated. So you'll see the artist in Lima on the south side of Johnny B's uh, painting starting June 12th and ending at the dedication on July 9th. Uh, during that time, there will be all sorts of uh, activities, ways to participate, uh, chances to sit there and just view, uh, all sorts of things. Mayor Skip Tunis has got a sort of a group of people together that are planning all of the activities. If you are interested in helping with the planning, uh, give the village office a call and uh, the mayor would be happy to, to have your assistance. But otherwise, look up Livco Walls online and you'll get to see all nine of the uh, things sort of take shape. That's all I got, Chris. All right. Thanks, Mike. John, how's the town of Menden doing? Great, Chris. Uh, as always, thanks for having me. I did want to report uh, that we do have a Monroe County Supervisors meeting monthly. At our last meeting, Jamie Romeo, who is the county clerk, attended. Uh, she let us know that uh, starting on April 1st, the Monroe County DMVs are offering, offering extended hours. Uh, Walk-ins are permitted 
up to the closing time for both uh, normal and extended hours. The closest one to us is the Henrietta branch. And the Henrietta branch is open from 8.30 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. And on Thursdays, they stay open till 6.30 p.m. You may have remembered during COVID that uh, reservations were required. Uh, they still are accepting reservations online. However, you do no longer need a reservation to go in and uh, uh, take care of business at the DMVs. So I wanted to pass that information on to folks. Also, the Splash Park that I've been talking about for quite a while has gone out for a rebid. The bids will be open on May 12th, uh, and we'll take it from there. We're hopeful that we're going to be able to do something this year during the, during the good weather. But uh, with all the, the changes we've had uh, from supply changes to uh, no one bidding on a portion of the project the first time through, we'll see how that goes. Also, uh, with dog control, I think Mayor Milne mentioned it last week, and I just wanted to follow up with that, is that the town of Menden has a dog control officer. We do have a location to take stray dogs, as well as a uh, location to take stray dogs who have possibly been injured, uh, for instance, with a car or something like that. So uh, we have made arrangements. The arrangements did change in 2022, but we have made arrangements and we are proceeding. Uh, there is a countywide initiative to set, set something up in the future countywide, and I'll leave that to uh, Legislator Milne to uh, report on in a, maybe a future uh, soundbite. Uh, also, I wanted to mention that on May 21st, uh, Saturday, is going to be the Hamlet Beautification Day. So in the Hamlet of Menden, it's, it's Beautification Day. It's sponsored by the Monroe, or excuse me, the Menden Community Business Association. And uh, if you have any spare time that day, stop down. It's uh, planting flowers, uh, picking up litter. Uh, all the business owners in the Hamlet, or I should say most of them are participating. So we're, as, as everyone's doing at their own homes, it's time to spruce up for spring. Lastly, I wanted to remind everybody that uh, school budget vote is on May 17th, and that is for both the Honey Falls, Lima, and Pittsburgh school districts. Many people don't know this, but there is a section of the town of Menden that is included in the Pittsburgh school district. So I wanted to remind everyone to uh, please get out and vote that day. I'm sure there's school board members that are up for vote as well as uh, the budget itself. I also like to remind everybody, this is the only budget you get to vote on. Can't vote on the federal budget, the state budget, your town budget. If you're in a village, you can't vote on your village budget, but you can vote on your school budget. So uh, I encourage everyone to get out on May 17th and vote. Thanks, Chris. All right. Thanks, John. Mike, you have anything more to add? Nope. No, I'm, I'm set. Uh, had myself a nice game of tic-tac-toe there as we were going. Uh, one of the cool things about the playgrounds is they've got these built-in tic-tac-toe boards now. Ah, all right. <laughs> I would like to remind everyone that Mike is actually a professional electrician and he's working today. So <laughs> we'll talk to everyone next week. Thank you for being here today and thank you for watching. Remember, if you're watching on our Facebook page, be sure to like that or the YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and you'll get messages every time this appears weekly Sunday at one o'clock. Bye bye for now. Imagine yourself communicating with a difference. Pandimensional Solutions helps you do this. Whether live spectator events, taped broadcasts, or real-time audience-engaging programs, you can benefit immediately from the tools Pandimensional Solutions will share with you. Do you want to make a difference? Contact us at pandimensional.com.